Hamilton's method is classical in mechanics uh, in order to obtain a state equation of a mechanical system. So we need for this that the mechanical system is conservative. It means that there is no friction. The whole energy is conserved. So in such a case, if we know an expression of the total energy of the system, then, uh, and it corresponds to the Hamiltonian, uh, then we can find directly the state equation of the system. So the Hamiltonian is the sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy. So this Hamiltonian should be expressed with respect to Q, the degrees of freedom, and P, the momentum. So that are related to, to the speed. And if we get this expression, we directly obtain the state equation of the system. So all the uh, dynamic of the system, uh, all the evolution is uh, memorized in a single function which corresponds to H, the energy, or the Hamiltonian. And these state equations are given here. So we will not try to understand uh, why uh, why it is like this, but we will just use it in order to find the state equation of the pendulum. So for this, we consider uh, the, the simple uh, pendulum uh, given here, which has a, a length which is known, a mass, and it has uh, one degree of freedom corresponding to Q. And Q dot corresponds to the derivative of Q and is directly related to the momentum. From this, what we will do, we will calculate the Hamiltonian of the system and we will deduce, uh, the, we'll deduce the state equation from this Hamiltonian. So if I try to find the state of the system classically, it is x equal to Q, Q dot. Now, in the Hamilton way to, to model the system, I will not take Q and Q dot, but Q and P. So, Q is still the position, but P is the momentum, and the momentum, P, is equal to J multiplied by Q dot, where J equal to ML2, since all the mass is concentrated on the extremity of the rod. Okay, so if I know Q dot, I know P, and it means that if this is a state vector, if this is a state vector, this one is also a state vector because from P I get Q dot, from Q dot I get P. The kinetic energy, uh, if I write with respect to Q, Q dot, I will obtain that it is the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. So it is half of m l q dot square for the kinetic energy plus if I take the reference zero here plus potential energy m j l multiplied by cos of q. Okay. Now, since I can replace Q dot here by P divided by J M L 2, I will get some simplification and I will obtain here 1 divided by 2 P dot uh, divided by M L 2 plus, and this wall will not change, plus mgl 1 minus cos of q. And this is now a function of p and q, and it is called the Hamiltonian, p and q. Oh, from this equation, from this uh, expression of this function, I will be able to derive the state equation. So they are given by q dot equal, so the partial derivative of h with respect to p at point p and q, 
which is equal here since uh, the, uh, this term does not depend on p so I derive only this one and I obtain p divided by ml2 and now I have also p dot equal minus the derivative of the Hamiltonian with respect to q uh, of p and q which is equal to uh, minus m j l sine of q okay this is my state equation so if now my state vector is q and p I get something of the form x dot equal f of x. In the second question, I have to show that if uh, a system is described by Hamiltonian equation, so not not only our pendulum, but any system described by Hamilton equation, then the Hamiltonian is constant. So recall that uh, the Hamiltonian equation are given. I have my Hamiltonian, which depends on p and q, and from this, I will compute the derivative respect to t. So it will be equal to h dot h dot of p and q, and this corresponds to the partial derivative of h with respect to p at point p q multiply by p dot plus the derivative of h with respect to q at point p q multiplied by q dot now due to this I get here uh, q dot and this correspond to this it is minus p dot so this is equal to q dot p dot minus p dot q dot which is equal to zero so from this we conclude that h of t is constant which is already known, already known since the system is conservative and the energy represented by the Hamiltonian is of course constant.